We're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this equipment. Before we begin, this is a full on warning. The improper use of the hydraulic floor jack can lead to serious injury or death. Take your time in setting up and follow the safety precautions and you'll be able to use hydraulic jacks and stands safely. Make sure your head is clear to operate and personal devices or peers will not distract you. Before you start, inspect the stands. Look at the teeth and feet and see that the seams are intact with no splits. You're counting on it to hold a lot of weight well and not slip or break when used. With the jack, check there are no leaks of hydraulic fluid and that the clips and pins are all secure and functional. It should also have a recent inspection sticker. First of all, make sure you're wearing the approved personal protective equipment or PPE. Safety glasses are an essential. Make sure you're also wearing approved footwear. CSA steel-toed safety boots are the best and otherwise, metal-toed slip-ons. Coveralls will protect your clothes and body against sharp objects or oily surfaces. Check the rated lifting capacity on the sticker of the floor jack and safety stands. A typical car weighs two tons. Make sure they are rated up to the job. You can check online for your specific vehicle. Before lifting the vehicle, make certain that the vehicle is parked on a level surface. Do not attempt this on anything other than a level surface. Next, apply the vehicle's emergency brake and chalk or block the wheels. If you do not do this, a vehicle will have a good chance to roll and drop off the stands. That's a huge danger to someone working underneath. Perform an underbody inspection. Look for severe corrosion or frame or structural damage. Report any underbody damage to your instructor before proceeding. You do not want the stands or jacks to puncture through the underbody and drop onto you. Locate the proper lift points by consulting the vehicle's manufacturer's specs or the lift guide. Remember, these points are the strong structural components built into the vehicle's body for lifting. Anywhere else will not be sufficient to hold the weight of the vehicle. Have your teacher double check your lifting points before proceeding. Improper lift locations can result in severe damage to the vehicle or personal injury to yourself or others. Slowly raise the vehicle to the desired height while periodically checking the jack's position. No person is to be partially or completely under the vehicle until it is secured on safety stands. It is important to understand the hydraulic jack and safety stands are meant to work together as a process to ensure a safe operation space for you. Once the vehicle is high enough for the safety stands, position the stands under the frame, supporting structure or axle area using a push rod. Do not place yourself under the vehicle. With the safety stands in position, slowly lower the vehicle weight onto the safety stands. Remember to have your teacher check your setup is secure and correct before proceeding. Listen for any bad sounds. With the vehicle properly positioned on the safety stands, push on each bumper to check the vehicle for stability before proceeding under the vehicle. Only then can you do your other work on the vehicle. When you're done your work, before lowering a vehicle, Ensure that everyone is clear and away from potential pinch points near the jacks or stands. Remove all tools, parts, and debris from your work process before lowering. Inform the instructor anytime you are raising or lowering a vehicle using a hydraulic floor jack. Slowly jack up the vehicle until the vehicle is raised up off the safety stands. Next, remove the safety stands. Remember, no person is to be partially or completely under the vehicle while it is supported only by the hydraulic floor jack. Now, slowly lower the vehicle. Remember, watch the vehicle while it is being lowered. Make sure no one is near the lowering vehicle. With the vehicle now lowered, remove the wheel chocks and return all equipment to its proper storage area. Make sure jack handles cannot fall on someone and that jacks and stands are not tripping or falling hazards. Keep the pathways around vehicles and benches clear. Okay, let's do our tool safe review. Never operate jacks or stands without first informing your teacher and getting approval. Make sure emergency brakes, wheel chocks, or blocks are in place to prevent rolling and falling vehicles. Always place jacks and stands under approved lift and support points. Consult the vehicle manufacturer's guide. Get approval from your teacher prior to work. Make sure no one is under any part of the vehicle until safety stands are in place. Take your time. Consider safety hazards and safe procedures at all times. Store stands and jacks away from shop traffic areas.
And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And be tool safe.